everyone welcome back to our channel if you're new here welcome we're the garso twins and please subscribe before you leave to not miss any of our videos yes and today we're doing a sephora wish list we did this last fall before the sephora vip sale and you guys seem to like it we actually had a good time doing it too so we basically added a bunch of things to our cart that we would purchase during the sale mm -hmm. or like that we want to purchase um and then i think we like kind of recapped what we actually did get in a get ready with me last year so we could do that again um but we're basically just going to talk through what's in our carts okay first thing in my cart um i need a new brush cleaner i bought the eco tools one and i think it was making my brushes shed so oh, maybe it is a little abrasive yeah so i want to try this sephora collection sigma times sephora brush cleaner it has no reviews yet because it's so new but um it looks like a nice cleaner and i thought yeah maybe i'll get it during this sale kind of boring but i need it Okay, and first up in my cart is the Rare Beauty Matte Lipstick in the shade Talented. I saw a few influencers that I like to watch um, specifically talk about this shade, and it seems like a really pretty, like, beige nude shade. And if I'm going to try a new lipstick formula, I always try to get a nude shade because just that's what I wear most of the time. Um, these are only $20, so I feel like with the sale like being what like $16 it's such a good deal so I thought I would try the formula see if I like the color um during the sale okay I don't know if I'll actually support on this but it's the Pat McGrath Divine Blush and Glow Face Palette um Nude Venus and I've always wanted the Desert what is it called Desert Orchid blush and that's in this palette and the rest of them just look so pretty that and the pretty. blushes themselves are pretty expensive so I was like well the palette you get like so much more for maybe like twenty dollars extra, um, so I might get this. Yeah, I feel I like it's, it's gonna a good deal, right? Yeah, I think so. I think it's gonna sell out probably. Well, I think the blushes are smaller, but still, mm -hmm. um, sell out maybe even before the sale because it's probably pretty popular. It's really pretty. Um, so yeah, I might might pick that up. Oh, and I should say I love the Pat McGrath blush formula. So I've already had tried it. So this is why I'm like want this next up for me is the isle of paradise self tanning oil mist in the shade dark we love this carly did a reel about it kind of like well did you review it in there you kind of like showed application and then maybe you reviewed oh, yeah. it in the... i think so yeah yeah um, but it's our favorite self tanner now we use it so often because it's so easy you just put it on after the shower you can use your hands you don't even need a mitt and then you just wash your hands after you can wear it like it doesn't stain your sheets so many good things about it it is not very user friendly like if you're new to self tanning would not recommend but we love it and i'm almost out of mind so i thought during the sale would be a good time to repurchase Okay, next up is this Olaplex kit. Um, I'm out of like all, I ran out of any sort of like detangling or hair oils at the same time. So I thought it would be good. I really liked the Olaplex number six, the Bond Smoother, when I had it. Um, and this comes with that and the oil and then like a little size of the serum. And it's a really good deal. So mm -hmm. I think I might pick this up. And Carly's list, I'm like, I need to look at more of the kits because I feel mm -hmm. like I don't have any of those. In, or I have one in my cart. Um, but next for me is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize Cream Eyeshadow in Exaggerize. And this is one of the newer shades they came out with. Um, I know State of Kate, Kate, our friend here on YouTube, she talked about it and did like a demo on Instagram and it looked so beautiful. But it is $34, so it's not something that I wanted to buy right away because it is pretty pricey for one eyeshadow. And to be honest, I've never really been like too impressed with anything I've tried from Charlotte Tilbury. So... I was skeptical, but after seeing it on so many people, the color looks too pretty to pass up, so I think I'm gonna get it. Okay, next up is a candle. Um, this is the new Nest. It, I don't know if it's like a holiday candle. Oh, you told me about this. Seasonal, it's called Crystallized Ginger and Vanilla Bean. It sounds divine, so I need it. I, <laughs> I'll, we try all the Nest candles, um, and we still love the holiday candle and the birch, birchwood and pine. Yeah. Um, but this is like their new one this oh, year. It says so good. crystallized ginger, cinnamon, vanilla bean are like the main notes in oat milk. Oh, it sounds delicious. Yeah. I need. Wow. Okay. And the next up on my list is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nouveau eyeshadow palette that Carly has and really liked. I've been wanting it since Carly reviewed it, um, but I didn't feel like I needed another eyeshadow palette and I still don't. But this one, like all the greens in it looks so pretty, especially for fall. And I love that like lilac shade in there too. So I feel like now is the time to get it if I'm going to get it um and it's been getting like rave reviews after it came out so I know I'll love the formula 
Okay, next up for me is Dead Cool Taunt, the travel spray. Um, we had like a little travel set of these or like the sample set. Mm -hmm. And Taunt was my favorite, right? Taunt was our favorite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I might pick this up. It's only $30 for like the travel spray and I really like it. So it's good. I think it's a good fragrance. Okay, next up for me is the Incredible Party Recharge Hydrating Hyaluronic Under Eye Masks. Amber Lancaster talked about these. She said they were sold out for a long time and they came back in stock. And I just purchased the Pixie under eye masks and I really do like those. I, they, they were repurchased for me, but they do, they are like, the, the size isn't the best. Like I feel like they kind of take up a lot of your cheek area. I want something that I can like really put up against the lower lash line. And these are only $20 for 20 pair, which I, you get more in the Pixie. But I thought like during the sale is a good time to try them and maybe I'll really like the formula of those too. Okay, I only have one more, but it's the full size of the Armani Luminous Silk. Um, I already have like the smaller size and I'm almost done with it. So I figure it's my favorite foundation. So I might as well purchase the full size during the sale. Yeah, you know what? The small size lasted me forever. I just ran out of it mm -hmm. like this week. And so I like, I already had a full size that I bought during the April sale. Which oh wow. Is, yeah, which is crazy. So I'm like, oh, I hope, it, I think it's still good though. Yeah. Cause I haven't used it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, crazy. Okay, and then I have three more quickly. So next up is the Laneige Mini, Midnight Minis Lip Sleeping Mask Set. I think you get five of the little sleeping masks in various scents. I always like to buy these. I really like the minis because they fit better in my like small purse. I can throw one in like my work bag. I can throw one in like my like um, belt bag that I use for walks. Mm -hmm. So I kind of like that they're small and more compact. And I also like the fact that you can then try various fragrances, fragrances flavors um, because I have tried the mint one in here and the original, but I haven't tried the other three. So thought it would be a good chance to try those and then I also have the NARS Power Matte Long Lasting Lipstick in the shade No Angel 101. It just looks like what is it described as a soft brown pink, but it looks like it has a lot of yellow in it too, but like lots of brown as well. I don't know, it doesn't look like a soft brown pink to me on the website, but we'll see how it looks in person. These um NARS lipsticks have been getting such good reviews. I love a good matte lipstick. The packaging is stunning, so I thought why not try their formula. I never buy anything from NARS. Yeah. So I feel like it would be a good um, a good thing for me to purchase from them that I think I would really like. And then last up is kind of a repurchase, the Living Proof Mini Perfect Hair Dye 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. The 2-ounce size is only $16. And I had a few of the 1-ounce sizes, I believe, that you get. I think it was like um, with points you could get them. And I've gone through like two of those and I really like that product. Um, I just put it in obviously before I blow dry and I feel like $16 for two ounces is a really good deal. So I might as well pick it up during the sale. Let us know what you guys are going to pick up, what's in your cart, your wish list. We'd love to hear.